Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Transparently D, where I'm keeping it 100% transparent in the life of D. Good evening, I guess I should say. It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, April 24th. Um, I am just giving you all just a short video update. Um, if you hear my kids in the background, they are down here and my daughter is jumping up and down on my ottoman. So if you hear her fall, it's her fault. Skylar, 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 don't jump on there. She thinks everything is funny. Oh my God, why are you screaming? Get on, what, don't scream. What is the problem? Okay. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so today we are 11 weeks and 3 days gestation. And I just wanted to run through a little bit that's going on. Stop. You stop. I'm not playing, Skylar. I want you to stop, okay? Okay, we're 11 weeks and 3 days, guys. I'm telling you, this girl tests my patience every single day. She tests me. I'm not even kidding. Can I have a popsicle out of the out of the um, garage? Maybe that'll help me with my dehydration. Okay. So anyway, hi everyone. How you doing? How your week going? How's your month going? How your month of April going? Um, I'm just here to give a short update and to uh, check in with you all. Um, first and foremost, um, my symptoms that I'm having, I am extremely nauseous, extremely, extremely nauseous. Thank you. Um, all the time I have to literally eat every hour to not be nauseous. Um, I also take a gang of meds to keep me from being nauseous. I will insert a picture of everything that I take and I only take it at nighttime because most of these are supposed to make you sleepy, but I don't get sleepy at all. Um, my doctor is aware that I'm taking everything that's in my hand and it does keep me from being nauseous. I am super uncomfortable. If you've ever been like really sleepy, all you wanted to do is just get in your bed. I am super uncomfortable in my bed. Very uncomfortable. So I, she said, thank you. So I toss and turn all night long. I rarely get any rest. I'm very just restless and sleepy. Um, I get short of breath a lot. So I have a an appointment with my pulmonologist on Monday. I get extremely short of breath. Um, so, and I have an appointment with my cardiologist. I had an appointment on Friday, but I was not able to make that appointment. So I do have an appointment with my cardiologist on the 27th. And I also have an appointment with my OB at the end of this week coming up. And I have an appointment with my pulmonologist. I'm ready for this to be over. I'm not even kidding. My, um, I don't even want to call it depression, but my sadness is kicked in and I'm sad frequently. Um, and really when I look at my life and really think about it, I don't really have anything to be sad about, but I am sad. Um, we are planning our baby moon and, um, I ordered clothes, some outfits and, um, swimsuit today. Um, two swimsuits and a cover thing around my waist um that i'm gonna wear during that my mother-in-law is coming on the baby moon with us which i'm very happy about because she's never flown before she is on the mister's flight benefits but she's never flown before so this will be her first time flying but she's coming with us to experience flying experience a different country as well as um you know, help out with Skylar and stuff throughout the baby moon so that I have an opportunity to relax. So we're really looking forward to that. 
And I'm going to order Skyla some stuff when I'm done with this video. Um, and her, we're going to, so now, y'all know I went all out for Skyla's room when she was a baby. Painted the walls, everything. Skyla and Mr. paint the walls, everything. Skyla has never, she's 18 months, never slept in her room. So, we're going to rearrange the living room. So, my master bedroom is over 1,100 square feet. And I know that because I was going to get new carpet put down. And when they came and measured it out, I needed over 1,200 square feet of carpet because of how large the room is. But the room is divided by like a, a two-sided fireplace. I'll insert pictures so that you can see what the room looked like and what the fireplace looked like in the living room part. But I'm going to rearrange the furniture in the living room portion of the um, living room portion of my master bedroom and put the babies over there. So that I don't have to get up and go all the way to the other side of the house to get them, feed them, whatever, put them back to sleep and then have to come back to this side of the house to put them to sleep. So that's what we're going to do with that. Um, other than that, we're just chilling. I had no idea that, that there was a volcano that erupted in St. Vincent. So my prayers go out to them. I pray that everybody is safe and get the water and things that they need to continue to survive over there. And I know they're waiting on one more big boom from the volcano. But I'm just speaking over it right now that it's going to settle. And it's going to calm. And that that eruption that they're looking for won't even come. So that's really all I got for you guys today. I do appreciate you guys riding with me. You know how we do it on, on this channel. Keep your faith on fleet. Everything alright, everything alright. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything go right, everything go right. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything alright, everything alright. I'ma chase my dreams. Everything alright, everything.